Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and please feel, feel free to subscribe and also like, share, comment as you wish. Today I will be taking you through the process of printing a t-shirt using a vinyl material and um, I will show you on the computer how I send my, um, how I prepare my artwork and then send it to the vinyl and um, vinyl cotton machine for, um, for printing. Let's get into it. On the computer screen, I'm printing um, some sponsor logo for a football club. And today we've got um, one of our sponsor is called Hunt Roofing. I'll zoom out so you can see properly. Yeah, so that's Hunt Roofing. And the first thing, once you've got a vector um, format on the, um, on the computer, vector format means one that you can um, send to... Uh, a, a machine a machine that can cut the letters out for you so um yeah the first thing to do is we'll need to flip this so that it's in a mirror image so lay out uh, mirror and it will mirror it horizontally so this is how we're gonna um print um the width of the vinyl sheet that i'm using for this printing is um 500 millimeters so i've made sure that i've kept my um my artwork width to 475 so it's just under that so we should be able to get um three three logos um within the width but what i want to do is i'm gonna um print several of this in one in one in one run i've got about 93 t-shirts to print so i'll try and do 10 at a time or nine at a time to be fair. So we've got six there. And then, yeah, let me do 12. Actually, for the purpose of this video, I'll do three so that you can see it easier. Because if I do 12, the next process is going to take a lot longer to complete. So I'll do um, three to start with, and then, um, yeah, you, you, you see the process. So from here, I go to cut. There's a cut button. This, the software that I'm using is called Sign Lab. And this is the software that we use to make signs and also to cut vinyl, um, to um, design and print vinyls. So the original logo that was um, given to me by the um, club is this one here, but um, this is a JPEG logo. Obviously that's of no use to us, but um, I've then converted that into a vector logo. And um, when I say vector logo, I'll try and show you what I mean by that. Uh, old group. Old group. Yeah, so that shows the traces that the machine is going to go through when it's um, when when it's running on the when you when it's when you're running through the vinyl. So let's go to cutting. So select that. Send to cut. Um, I need to check the width on the machine and see how and um, what width is so that I can set that to the. Cut. This is uh, a Roland plotter or cutter. I'm not really sure what they call it. But um, it's the Cam One Pro Sign Maker. It's quite an old one, but these were the best ones. They're built to last. I've had this for several years, and it's never let me down. So I've just fit in the vinyl sheets that I'm using. The vinyl com usually comes on a roll, so it comes on a roll like that. So I've fed that into the machine, and um, yeah, just set it up. And then once this is set up, I can press print on the on the computer and the computer will send all those um, graphics onto this vinyl and it will trace and cut the shapes and letters for me um, for the next stage. So according to my plotter, it's showing that um, the width is 479. I believe that on my computer, I didn't have to set that to 479 which is what is on the plotter 479 enter 
So that's showing that if we zoom in, you can see that my artwork is within the range of the of the vinyl width. And now I can just press cut and the magic happens on the cutter. There we go. Every letter, every shape that was designed on the computer will then be cut out and traced on the vinyl. And then move on to the next stage. Right, we've got that finished. Just removing the unwanted um, vinyl. And that will leave us with just the graphics and it's reprinted onto the heat onto the t-shirt. So we've got three logos here, and this is what we expect. Now this is ready for heat pressing, so the logo is going to go there. So that's how we're going to have it. So we'll take down to the heat press. So this is the heat press that I'll be using. It's an Atkin door table heat press. So I've just switched it on, so I'm waiting for the heat to go up to 150 degrees and it will be pressed for 15 seconds. So this is the next stage where we heat press the, um, the artwork that we've cut out onto the jumper. So the um, the heat press has been set to 150 degrees and it's going to press for 15 seconds. So um, first, I need to put the first thing, put the number on, the player number on there. The clock badge that we cut and, um, and peel out, put that on there as well. Make sure it's in line with the brand logo. And then the sponsor logo goes on last. And that's centered in line with the zip. And we're gonna hit we're gonna hit press that for 15 seconds and see what happens. Hot peel. And we can see that's ready to go, ready for wash. Next one as well. There we go, number 21. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like and share the video. See you soon.